everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is a sunny Saturday morning and I'm here to film a little get ready with me. I have some new products, I have some old products and you know the drill by now. Please like, please subscribe and please turn that notification bell on because I have some super exciting videos coming up this month that you are not going to want to miss. Um, so without any further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> my blank face. Now, this is the face of a mum who was up at 4.30 on a Saturday morning. <sighs> Luckily, she did go back to sleep. Luckily. But, you know, I need to look alive because <laughs> I don't feel it. I just don't feel it at all. I'm just not, I'm just not functioning at all. And I cannot open and I haven't even told you what it is. This is what I mean. This is probably going to be how this video is going to go down, to be honest. So the first new products I'm going to use is, it's not by all means any newer on the market, but it is the Marshmallow NYX Primer. I love NYX. And I've seen so many people rave about this primer. I'm just going to get this thing open. And we are open. Thank God for that. Um, so yeah, I'm sat here in my pyjamas. It is a Saturday morning and... Oh, that came out nice and quick. Oh, that, I like that. Oh, I look. Does it smell of marsh? Oh, I like. Oh, I like it. Oh, it's like it's like moving. Up, uh, oh, I mean, you're not probably interested. But yeah. Um. So four thirty this morning. I mean, mums, you will know what I'm talking about. I was very tired. We did go back to sleep. So. Um, until like 20 past 7 oh my god this smells amazing oh my god I love it this is a win this is a win already just purely for the smell oh it's really soft it is actually reminding me of the um the the softness like the texture of it of the Too Faced Primed and Poreless one that I had a little sample of and was using. Oh my god. It's got a little bit of attack, nothing amazing. But yeah, I like it. So, to apply my new foundation, which I'll show you in a minute, I am going to be testing out the Coco Cosmetics Marshmallow Sponge. I've just, again, see, I bought this, I bought this off Beauty Bay. I'll link, every, I'll link all the new products down below that I'm going to use because I probably won't show you all the older products because they're just products that I literally just throw in the box and I was like, okay. So I'm going to go, and this is what it looks like. It's just really, really cute. It's obviously really small. It's just got the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe logo on the front. I'm going to go and wet this and we will see the size difference. I also like the fact that it has this flat edge which will be so good getting into the concealer part so i'm gonna wet it and be right back so we're back and this is the size that we are at now um is it as soft as my morphe area one which i use all the time no it has a bit more of a density to it but to be fair i think i prefer it because my morphe one is a little bit too soft i feel like i'm actually hitting my face too hard with it so i really like the density of that okay We'll give it a test, see how it applies. And see, the foundation that I'm going to be using. Now, I've heard so many mixed reviews about this foundation. Like, so many. But I really wanted to give it a try for myself. I have no clue if I've bought the right shade because I've heard people say it oxidises. It doesn't sit on the skin right. It's just an awful foundation. But then I've heard people write about it. And they're like, it's my go-to foundation. I use it all the time. It is a drugstore foundation. I don't mind a drugstore foundation if it's a good product. I don't mind any foundation. I don't mind any product. If it works, if it does what it says on the tin, I'm all for it. And I will continue to use it and obviously we'll do a wear test with this today. So I will come back at the end and give you a little wear test of how it sat through the day. So this is the IRL filter foundation. Again, not a brand new product. It's been out for a while. And I've got the shade F2. Well, it's revolution, isn't it? So 
it comes in a really nice glass jar um, it says so it's oil free 16 hour wear uh, long wear foundation breathable soft matte so we'll see okay oh quite runny but i have still got a bit of the primer underneath so it might be why it's running um that's the rabbit if you're new here i do have a rabbit has two dogs two kids okay oh mm, this is interesting not too sure just go with that for now and then we'll try and build it up a little bit so i'm just gonna use the sponge i like to use my sponges damp Wow, that really moves the product around amazingly. That is effortless. Um, yeah, I like to use my sponges damp just because um, oh, well, that's how I prefer it. I know some people prefer it dry, some people you prefer a brush. I just can't. I don't know if it's because I don't use the right brush for my my skin or I just don't, brushes just don't agree with me because I'm of an elderly nature. It's actually a really, really good, but it's a little bit light. But if people say it oxidises down, I don't know. I would do that, but you probably don't want to see my 20 chins. Okay. I mean, I'm actually really impressed. But, you know, everything's got to sit on top. It has got to last 16 hours, but I don't think it'll be 16 hours, but it's currently like, I don't even know what time it is. I have absolutely no idea. I was still in bed watching TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, I've seen Michaela come out with her um, apology and I'm all for it. I'm sorry, but mental health guys, be kind. I mean, if we didn't learn enough from obviously the whole Caroline Flack, everything. Well, it's not just Caroline Flack, Eva. It's, it's, I'm going to put a little bit more on just to see if I can build it up. But I definitely feel like it's more of a medium coverage. I don't, I don't know if it's medium to full. So we will see. Um, not even just Caroline Flack, just in this world, in this day and age. This, you know, I don't want to obviously dwell on it too much on here. I have put a post over on Instagram but honestly just be kind to her do you know what I mean it's, people make mistakes she's come out she's apologized and to be honest watching back what happens I don't even know if she needed to apologize because it was just taken away out of context I don't really have any thing that I need to cover up. I don't really have any spots or anything going on at the moment so it'll be interesting to see if when I have like hormonal acne or any spots that come out how this foundation sits and plays on those but this is just going on really really nicely. <coughs> I'm still taking a while to shift this cold. It is a little I mean, it's a little bit pale. It looks dark. Okay, I look like a ghost. <laughs> it is on my lips. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. Is it too light? Because I don't think so. I actually... No, I really don't think so. And it doesn't look too light in person either. It actually looks a little bit darker in person. So I wonder if I would add my cream bronzer just to get a bit of colour back in my face. But I'm really happy with that at the moment. I'm really, really happy. It's not it's not separated around my nose. I've got lines, let's face facts, but it's really nice around my mouth. And it's really, really nice on my nose. Like it's like really nice. I'm I'm really happy. I'm actually really, really happy. Okay, good start, good start. So I put my concealer on, uh, my cream bronzer, everything went on really well, it didn't move around the makeup, didn't uh, upset the foundation. So for cream brush, this is a new one. Um, I have set my under eyes but I wanted to set half of my face just so you could see what it set like with a powder on top and without powder on top. So the cream brush that I'm going to be using today is actually from She Glam. 
How cute is this packaging, by the way? Like, I don't, I can't remember how much this was, but it, it wasn't that expensive. And this is in the shade Love Cake. Obviously, you know, packaging isn't everything, so it just comes all these. I mean, that's just that is just super cute. So I'm gonna apply it here. I really like the colour of that. It's really, really pretty. A little bit more on there, and it's just like the. That's what the inside of it looks like. Super, super cute. And it just came in a little, a little box like that. I did buy two. I also bought the shade. Let me show you if I can find it. Uh, 102 Float On. <coughs> which is more of like an orangey. Is, that, is it the same packaging? Oh no, it's a little bit different. This has got like the raised texture. This is just written on. Again, same sort of packaging. I feel like this one might be a bit more glowy because the lid is a little bit more glowy, whereas this one is a little bit more matte. And that's kind of like the orangey one. I'll just do a little a little swatch for you guys. It's very it's a lot more orangey, but I wanted a pinky blush today, so I went with that one and ooh. Ooh, perfect for fall, perfect for fall. I'm loving it, loving it. Right, so I'm just going to blend this out with my... Guys, this is not dirty. It is stained from the Amelia Olivia brush. If anyone knows how to get this out, please let me know. So this is just a dry one. Obviously, if you watched my review on that, I did have problems with... And again, it has happened. I suppose the camera never picks it up. It, it just goes... Like a light, I don't have it on this side, but on that side, it just leaves a line on my face, and I don't know why. I haven't gone in too heavy with this, just so I'm like quite subtle. Oh, that is well, that is very subtle. We'll just pop a little bit more on, shall we? Make sure I pick the right one up. I'm gonna try and maybe tap it in with my finger, we'll just see whether. That goes on any better. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, just going into a bit of my dry patch right there. Oh my god, why is that? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh, that's better. Yeah, so I just find that cream blushes, I just. My finger, everyone is so different though. Like, you could apply it with, you know, a brush. You could have just. You know, apply it with a sponge, dry, wet. Drop a little bit down my nose. But yeah, it's not even, it's coming up a lot sheerer on camera, but actually in real life it's more, it's more pink. Definitely more pink. I'm just going to go in with my sponge and just make sure that's all blended in nicely. That bit has now come over here. I don't know what that is. Something floating about on my skin. It's gone. So yeah, it's, it's there, but for some reason it's really not showing up on camera, it really, really isn't, but it's there, it's very more, it's a lot more pinker, if I was to do my, my makeup just looking at this I'd be like, I'd be constantly applying it, but it is a lot more pinker, I probably didn't even need the second coat to be quite honest, but hey ho, so I'm going to set half of my face now, with my Huda Beauty Cupcake and my Trickwell Cosmetics sponge, powder puff, whatever you want to call it. And then we can kind of see how the makeup looks. So I have some. Yeah, so I'm currently like weaning my daughter at the minute. She's going on to her solid foods. And I don't know why she had a bit of an upset stomach this morning. That's why she woke up. Or she just knew it was Saturday. I was like, yeah, let's, let's wake up. So this is my trusty powder. Okay, so it is starting to like cling to my nose. I'm not sure if it's again. The camera isn't picking it up, but it is going a little bit dry here around my nose, you know, so... 
has clung to that area. So I'm just going to go and set the rest of my face and then we can come back and see what it's all looking like. But my powder sits nicely on it, so, you know. But again, the foundation is, it is just starting to cling to my dry patches around my nose right here. Which is such a shame. I really hope that that stops. <laughs> Please stop, because I really like this foundation. Is it oxidising as well? Mm, tiny little bit, but not. it's nothing dramatic. So we are back with the finished look. So the last product I have got to test is a setting spray. I've done everything else. The eye look is going to be on another video. I think that would probably already be up by the time I put this one up because I've got to do a wear test. Um, spoiler alert on the foundation. I'm not. 100% convinced it seems to have rubbed off a little bit around my chin already it has definitely started cracking around the sides of my nose um so yeah I'm not too and it is definitely here can you see where it's already sunk into my lines and I've literally had it on for like an hour um so yeah like that is that is actually like really bad so I'm going to leave it on for, obviously, for the rest of the day. I'm just going to put my setting spray on for you guys now. Uh, this setting spray, I'm so excited because it is Amelia Olivia and it is from the Beauty, Beauty Crop? Beauty Crop. Um, and it is her glow mist and it's got my hair all over it. Um, I love the fact that it is enriched with rose water, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. So it says shake. It's in a plastic bottle. comes like this. With, oh. I'm not sure what the spray is even like. Oh, that is going to soak. Okay, no, it's better now. Ooh, it smells really nice. We can really smell that rose water. Okay, so let's see if we're going to get all glowy. As she says. Oh, P.S. I hope that she's okay because um, she's out there and obviously. All my respects are going out to everybody who is out in the hurricane at the moment. I hope everyone is okay. It must be so hard for um, Sarandos. Okay, so it definitely has given me a glow. It has. I really like that. Oh yeah, it's really given me a glow. It's made my highlighter pop that little bit more. You know, I wouldn't say it's overly glowy, um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I really, really like it. And stay tuned uh, because I will be doing a wear test. It is currently um, 20 past 12. Um, so I'm going to come back towards the end of the evening. I mean, you can already see that this is probably not going to be my favourite foundation but we'll see we'll see how it lasts I mean if that's the only problem I can you know I can deal with it but if it gets worse throughout the day then you know I will obviously not wipe it out yet because like that I could put another primer on I could put you know obviously these are new products it might be the primer that it's just, it just doesn't like it you know what I mean so we, we will see we will see so we will be back towards the end of the day once I've done a few jobs I'm not actually sure what I'm doing today to be quite honest and for the rest of my face these lashes are again um, pets and pain lashes in the style dream and these are also new so I will link those ones down below lips I just used Primark Maybelline and Revolution um, if you want to know then just ask um, so I will see you all in a few hours with the final wear test. Everyone, welcome back. As I said, I've come back and do a check-in with you guys. It's currently 7.30 um, and I will be taking my makeup off shortly just because it's getting late for me now. <laughs> I know some people's nights are probably just beginning on a Saturday night, but mine is definitely, definitely ending. Gone are those days where I'm saying, oh my God, here, I've just done my makeup, I'm ready to go out. <laughs> those days are gone. Um, so yeah, just wanted to come back, do this final check-in with you guys, 
uh, we are obviously reviewing the IRL Filter Foundation in the shade F2. Now, I showed you earlier, 30 minutes into the foundation, it really sunk it into my line, so I just thought, well, this is not going to last. This is just going to get worse and worse and worse throughout the day. But to be honest, it hasn't changed. Like, that is 30 minutes in, that is the same now as it was 30 minutes in. So I can cope with that. I've got fine lines. I'm not, you know, obviously ashamed of them or anything. You know, if this was just a day-to-day -day foundation, I was going out. wasn't really, probably not a night out foundation because I imagine it would probably get worse. Uh, but the day-to-day -day foundation, I'm really, really happy with it. It has obviously clung to my nose around here a little bit and it's starting um, to wear off on the tip of my nose, which happened with the foundation that I did uh, test last week, I think, so go ahead and watch that. Um, and here, if you can see, it's clung to the most smallest dry pad, so unless you're in my face and you're going, I really don't think that you're going to see it, um, but obviously I'm just, because I'm reviewing it, I can see it. Um, but other than that, it's not, it hasn't like separated on my face, it's rubbed off a bit on my chin, but to be honest, I'm, you know, I'm sitting like this and I'm, you know, so that is it, that, I'm really happy with how this has lasted on my face, I'm not mad at it, like I say, foundations tend to sit in my lines, especially because I clearly frown a lot, um, but yeah, I'm not mad, I'm really quite happy with how this has lasted, especially when I did that like that review earlier where it had only been 30 minutes um so yeah I definitely wear this again I'd probably try a different primer under it next time uh just a lot more of a hydrating primer if any of you know any please let me know um so yeah I did try the marshmallow primer today but this was new so I might try this under a loved foundation that I that I know I love and that lasts all day and that works perfectly for my skin to make sure that I that this primer is good and then I will use a primer that I know and love onto this foundation a more hydrating primer um to see how it lasts and perhaps wear it for a little bit longer next time it's been seven hours that's probably the most lengthy time that I wear foundation for anyway I think unless I was at work it would probably be around about 10 hours but um no, like this, this is fine for me on an everyday basis. Seven hours maximum of sitting with makeup on is perfectly fine. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with the foundation. Um, let me know down below if you like these kinds of videos and you want me to do some more foundation reviews on high-end drugstore, uh, whichever you fancy. I'm happy to go out. I'm always happy to try new foundations because, you know, they're the base. I've just hit my dog in the face, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so they're the base of the makeup, so it's always good to try them. And obviously, some of them, the more expensive ones, I definitely do enjoy trying because they claim to do everything. Basically, change your face. Um, so I'm always down for trying new foundations. I'm always down for trying new makeup, to be quite honest. So if there's anything that you've seen lately and you're like, hmm, I want to see, I want to see how that works give me a shout and I'm happy to go out and get it and I'm happy to test it and review it for you guys, that's not a problem. Um, the only thing that I did re-add to my face was my lipstick just because I did film another video before this one. So if you're thinking, oh my god, that lipstick's lasted all day, it hasn't. I literally put it on about 20 minutes ago simply because I had to film another video. So that is why you're going to want to hit that notification bell because I'm uploading so many videos. Um, so so busy trying to cram everything in. I mean, I've filmed like three videos today on the first of October, and I've filmed three videos on a Saturday. Like so, that is that is crazy. Um, so yeah, definitely hit the notification bell, and we will see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>